Don't take those. God, Kara, can you not do that? None of those pills don't do anything but make you feel bad. Yeah, I told you that the last time you took them. Yeah. When did you get here? It was a little bit ago. It was like right after your special time. That's weird, you know, right? Did you miss me? Of course. Then it's a good thing I'm here to keep you company then. Yeah. You wanna talk about it? It's just... There was just this car, you know, and... Oh, it just... It just really shocked me. Hey, it's okay now, it's over. Don't worry about it anymore. Just... Don't! No, I can't! I can't just forget. You don't have to. Oh uh, God, it's not that easy. I'm not asking you to. God, oh, yes you are. I don't want you to forget about it. There is no way you can forget about it. What I'm here is for you to help you cope. I have finals next week. I go to the library. I'll come with you. No. Just, I'll come with you, it's fine. No, it's okay, I can do it on my own. But I want you. No. See you at the car in five. Hey, Mads. Ready to go? Come on, can you not do that in here? It makes the car smell. It smells fine to me. Carol! Loose, disordered relationships reflect the shattered unity and contradictions of the modern world. Blah, blah, blah. How can you read this stuff? I think this is more speed.
Maddie, look at me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on, Maddie. Finally, you're paying attention. Come on. What is going on? Let me know how you're feeling. Come on, Matt. I just want to help. Shut up! Jeez, Matt. No need to get your knickers on twist. Why you just won't talk to me, Maddie? I mean, you can't just keep shutting me down like this. I, especially not after the accident. Because I'm here for you, and you're ignoring me. Kara! I've had enough of listening to you. It's time you listen to me, okay? I've had a very, very difficult time trying to cope with what happened with the accident. I know you moved on from the accident like nothing even happened. But some of us are human. Some of us have to have different methods of coping. Like, I don't know, maybe pills or, or going on runs alone. Or not talking about what happened every waking moment. I understand that you're trying to help. I understand that. But I will never, ever forget what happened. Because you won't let me. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Please, please don't cry. I'm sorry. You know what? We're both going to talk. You know how I feel about the shrink. Dr. Bennett was very nice to me. You're so gullible. Madison? Madison, how good to see you. And you? Have you been taking the medication I prescribed you? Well, <laughs> is this the doctor that gave you those nasty pills? She doesn't take them, doctor. They make her feel flat. They make me feel flat. Madison, it's imperative use of the dosage. Imperative? I promise you they'll help. I wouldn't take this corporate puppet's word for anything. So how have you been these past few weeks? I've been fine. Finals are next week. I've been spending hours at the library. I see. Um, and 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 it makes me it makes me exhausted, you know. Like when I finish. So you're tired when you get home. Yeah. Do you sleep better now? Only due to exhaustion. No, not really. Why not, do you think? I don't know. Like, m my head is just, you know, crowded. Blah, going through my head. It's understandable. It's common for things to keep yourself from thinking. You want to voice your opinions. She's writing that you're crazy. She thinks you're a nut job. Your phone rang. You went to answer it, but you dropped it under your seat. 
You bent over to pick it up and you swerved into the other lane. You sustained a minor concussion and a few slight injuries. However, Kara's airbag malfunctioned. She died on impact. Mads, this is crap and you know it. I have always been right there. I was in the hospital with you. I did your math homework with you. I've always been right there. You've got to know, Maddie. I wouldn't lie. I'm your best friend. I'm right here.